Hi, welcome to this video and where we will be setting up a Sprite menu bar working with some div IDs um, and what else will we be doing? Oh, setting up the uh, testing server for uh, Dreamweaver CS4. Uh, in order to work with this video you're going to want to watch the uh, setting up uh, testing server PHE MySQL video uh, and if it's not on the right hand side on this YouTube page uh, simply click my profile name and go to my account and find that video uh, as you will want to set up a testing server environment uh, before starting this video. So let me go ahead and show you how we will create where we where we will create our root folder. Uh, we've already downloaded map which is uh, here and we want to create our root folder here and I've called it test site which you'll notice here and within that folder we have a test page PHP so now let's launch Dreamweaver and set up a new site so new site and let's just call this test site and we're going to find the HT docs folder in the map and there is our test site so go ahead and choose that and we also want to set up our testing server environment which is here so third category down testing server we want to set up a PHP MySQL local network uh, and as we've just included this data it's here again testing server folder we have applications map HT docs test site URL prefix, the HTTP and localhost are already in there. We just want to make sure we are going to the same place, a site, and go ahead and hit OK. And there we go. So we have our test site. I have a very generic page here. I'll show you design view. So not really any styling apply to any of the uh, div containers and as you see here we have our wrapper which spans from here to here and within the wrapper we have our header logo navigation optional space content left column right column and the footer and before we insert the nav bar I'm just gonna show you how to apply some styling pretty generic stuff just so that we have a better view of the page uh, so we're going to affect the body first of all and that's down here in page properties um, if you click here you'll see background color let's go ahead and pick black hit apply Okay. And you'll notice the entire page now is black so that's not going to do anyone any good so now we're going to add some white and in order to get the page, the entire page, we are going to affect the wrapper, which is here. So we're going to apply a new CSS rule here. So it's an ID and we are indeed affecting the wrapper. So again, that um, is the div ID wrapper ID wrapper and we're going to go ahead and give it a width of 800 and if you apply an auto to the margin right and left and that's also available here auto that will center the page let's go ahead and give a background color of white hit apply hit ok and let us go back to design view and there we go so we're going to be working with the navigation div. Let's go in there and I'll show you. Let's do split view. So now if you're not comfortable working with code view, um, I would recommend that you at least start with uh, a split view, even if you don't know how to write uh, in HTML or PHP. Uh, it's just good to see what's happening uh, here in your code view. As as if you're work if you're working in design view because the more you begin to understand uh, the lay of the land here in code view, 
the easier it'll be to troubleshoot your pages. So keep that in mind. Please work in split view. All right, so we have a placeholder image here. We have uh, the navigation. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete this placeholder image. And if you notice here in code view, our cursor is right here in the middle. And that's where it needs to be between the opening and closing div tag for navigation. And we're going to insert a spry menu bar. Okay, and that's between data and in context editing. So let's go ahead and click that. And we want a horizontal. And voila, there is the uh, beginnings of our nav bar. Now you'll also notice here that optional content goes here has shifted up. Now that's because both these divs lie within the uh, header section right here. Okay, so this is the closing header div tag and everything between there is inside the uh, header. So what we need to do is there's two ways to fix this. I'll show you both ways. Um, first of all, let's do another ID CSS here. Hold on a second. Close that down. So let's go ahead and hit new CSS rule. And we are going to be affecting the optional space as that's what's shifted up next to the nav bar. So let me put these kind of next to each other so you see what we're doing. Let's zoom in. And we have optional space. So let's go ahead and type that exactly as it's written. Optional space. Now you're you know, hopefully if you're working, if you're working with templates, um, you'll see these div containers. If you're creating your div containers, then uh, you know that you can name them whatever you want them to be. So don't feel uh, that you have to name these div IDs, um, optional space, content, blah, 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 as I have. These are just, just basically whatever you want them to be. So let's go ahead and hit ID up here. There we go. Hit OK. And what we're going to do to fix this problem, go to box. And under clear, we're going to clear both. Hit OK. And let me show you what that has. So now you notice that optional content goes here. It's been shifted down. Uh, another way, and it's actually this would kill two birds with one stone, is apply a width to your navigation uh, div here. OK. Now you want to do this so that your nav bar uh, is congruent across all different browsers. So let's go ahead and do the same thing again. Come back down here to new CSS rule, bottom right hand corner. Click on that. And we're going to be affecting the navigation. Let's zoom in a little bit so you see what we're doing. So again, this is an ID. Applies to only one HTML element. So you can only have one instance of div ID navigation per page. So, And in this, uh, in this format, in this written format here. So we're going to do navigation. And hit OK. And what we're going to do is add a width of 800. So that's going to span the wrapper width. OK. And let's go ahead and give it a height of 35. And hit OK. Now we won't see much of a difference here as we already corrected the optional div tag by going into the box, clear, and adding both in that uh, fill in there. So now let's go ahead and start with the, oh, let's hit save actually, before we lose our work. And you'll notice that when we hit save, um, Go Live is going to prompt us to copy these dependent files. And now these files, where do they come from? They came from inserting the nav bar. These files and GIFs are the scripts, the CSS script and the uh, JavaScript that would make the uh, menu bar work. So let's go hit, hit OK. If we open up our files, hit refresh, you'll see down here that the Spry Assets folder has been added to our root folder. So thank you, Dreamweaver. Now really quickly, um, let me see what else here. Uh, split view. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna stop now, uh, look for part two and um, we will pick up where we left off.